Just talking during the commercial break, Richie, you know that, that long diagonal ball we've seen both teams try and overhit during the first half. Like, is that... Was that down to a lack of quality or frustration or what? Well, I think Morocco have the quality to play in a different way. I don't think they need to limit their attacking options to long ball, but I think partly why they adopted that approach at times because there just wasn't space in front of mm. the Iranian defence. They, they, Iran, shut down, Iran shut down the midfield quite well. But as Liam said, they've wide players in Morocco who will cause damage if they can get the ball to them. Kabi has been a bit limited up front. Um, but Iran should be pleased. They've, they've defensively been sound, and two, three of the players, and Sarah Fard, Johan Baksh, Asmoon, they're all sitting in the dressing room reflecting on goal scoring opportunities they had themselves. So they may feel there's a goal in this game for them. Zayach, the Ajax playmaker, needs to step up to the, uh, up to the mark. You know, uh, he's, he's their guy, most creative player in the middle of the park, but we've hardly seen him. So if they're going to break this stubborn Iranian defence down, they need a player like Zayac to open them up. So I'm sure his coach would have said, look, come on, we need you to get into the game. Don't be playing such long balls, so many long balls. Let's play to feet. Baranda, Zayac, let, let's get them on, on the ball and see if they can open this Iranian defence up.